Hey guys, I got a new book today called The Wonderful Coloring of Oz. Um, this is by artist Ben McDaniel. Um, 64 designs, 64 um, single sided, non perforated pages. This is what the back looks like, and it looks like he does mandalas as well. Um, on the back, it does say that the book is based on the L. Frank Baum classic. So, um, I looked through it a little bit. Um, I, I have some issues with it. Um, people send me books like this to give my honest opinion, and sometimes this is the hard part, but I'm going to give you my honest opinion. All right, <clears throat> let's go through this. Let's just start with the, um, it's going to go back and forth, landscape to porch a lot. Nameplate page. Alright, here is like one example. Everything on this page, this is my first introduction page, okay? This page should grab me in and make me want to flip through it and, 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 you know, dig in. This is boring. There's, there's so much blank space in here, there's nothing. Um, it's not hand drawn. It's all you can see. It's all digital or clip art. I don't. I, I don't like that. All right, and here's Dorothy. We got Dorothy and Toto. We got all of this clip art, and this is looks like it's hand drawn. But that's what I mean. You know, it's just not. It doesn't. It's a mishmash. There's nothing behind her. There's no trees. She's on a farm. There's no cow. There's no barn. There's nothing. Blank space. Tornado. More blank space. Not even a cloud. See? Like, you have all these thick, thick lines here. And then like this. You can see these flowers are completely clip art. Just stuck there. Little thin um, I, I don't understand. I don't like when people do that. More tornado. Tornado again. Now the house is on the sister, the witch. We, we got more clip art um, on the side here that does not look right with this. These really thick you know lines and then they got the little clip art that you just stick there and manually adjust it it, it, it doesn't work together for me all right she's already got her shoes and um, we're here with the Munchkins and the oh, that's got to be the good witch because she's got fairy wings, but she looks like the bad witch. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right. See, I personally would not, I wouldn't color this page. There's nothing that says, let me come in here and color this page. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. There's nothing, there's no characters, there's no liveliness. Nothing to say, hey, come color me. Alright, we got the hand drawn scarecrow here. Hand drawn looks like. Um, and then all of this clip art corn. And nothing in the background. There should have been more rows of corn. There should have been something. Maybe another scarecrow. Something. I don't know. But the corn wouldn't just stop right here. Without nothing in the background. Alright. Now. Scarecrow's thinking about having a scarecrow head off I guess and a real head 
here he is cutting his tree he's holding a clip on axe it's not real and here is kind of another mismatch I don't like these two pictures they're definitely not for children can you see them his leg is chopped off here and his arm is chopped off here he's thinking about proposing to his wife and chopping down trees and then his leg and his head gets cut off oh my god i can't looks like the evil witch came and did that This is here. The lion is thinking about chasing an elephant. This is entirely um, line work or clip art. There's no characters here. There's no, why aren't they sitting around the fire? Are they, oh, there's a little deer here, but it's just all so industrial and cold. I don't like all of these hard edged clip art. It just doesn't tell a story. Where are they? What's going on? I don't want to call this. All right, we go from that to the yellow brick road caving in. I don't want to color this either, y'all. It looks like there's a pit of crystals down there. So he chops down this tree and the law goes across. Okay. Wow. All right. I don't know if these are bears or tigers or bear tigers, but the bodies look hand drawn. But I think he put clip art on the. Oh, my lighting is terrible today. That's clip art tiger on the bear head, on the drawn head. I'm so sorry y'all. I hate getting bad reviews, but when they're bad, they're bad. Okay. Why are they... Why are they... Oh, it's not a... I think... I was thinking that they were, um, putting up a fence. But that's not a fence. They're on a log raft and they're in the water. How they get in the water? When did they build this raft? What's happening here? I don't understand. At least we got some stuff in the background this time. All right, There's, and they lost the scarecrow in the water. He's down here. Now they're all back together again. How did he get back together with them? Full of poppies. Poppy, poppy, poppy. Um, clip art. Why do these mice have the lion? This is the same mouse over and over and over and over and over again, just pasted down. The same horn that's used over and over again. See how industrial it looks to I me? Mean, like, this could be a factory. It's so squared off. It looks like there's blood right here. It's clip art flowers. The whole building. I don't think there's anything hand drawn on this page. Maybe these little stones, steps, maybe, and maybe this line.
They're in a random kitchen. Random kitchen. Why does this kitchen have a piano in it? I don't know. The lines are crisp, clean, cold, I'm guessing is what I would say. Alright. They are now back on the yellow brick road. Emerald City, I'm guessing, because it's all sparkling. Why is it so tiny? Why is it built up big so you want to color it? Again, lots of open space, misused. There's, you know, something should be going on here. All right, this is a close up. Where are they? They're inside now. How'd they get inside? Where are they? Just, oh, I, I'm not gonna say anything else. The only thing I think is hand drawn is the glasses and it's looks like maybe a cup or a piece of paper on this thing. That's it. These diamonds are just stuck down all over random. For some reason they're wearing glasses now that say Oz. if you're going to draw the characters why wouldn't you draw the background that's what I would have rather have that that would have, to me would have been awesome it's hand drawn I get it I, you know, there you go but this clip art crap stuff with the hand drawn stuff doesn't sit well with me no characters no paintings on the wall a lot of blank space I'm guessing this is where they go and talk to the Great Oz. Um, I thought this was supposed to be the jewel sparkling, but there's a jewel up here. So either that jewel sparking, sparkling, or Oz is trying to talk to them. I don't. I don't know. It's the same picture. It's the same exact picture, except now it's got in front of the crystal. There is. Thomas the Tank. <laughs> that was my first impression. Doesn't that look like one of the characters from Thomas the Tank show? Wow. Same picture. This time with a lady, a queen. Same picture with a five eyed rhino. I wouldn't color this. The same page over and over and over again. Same page again. This looks like fire. Alright. A compass with all of these clip art poppies again. I hope y'all have fun coloring poppies because you're going to do it all day. Alright. They're taking a break. There's nothing in the sky. Not a cloud. No trees in the background. There's nothing. There's a bunch of hornets right here. Um, and we got the witch. She's dancing to music apparently. And the monkeys, the flying monkeys are outside. Dorothy's got new clothes on now. The monkeys got them. They used the whole page for a one cage for the lion. No. What is that? Alright, she's throwing the stuff on the water on the witch. She's melting. But this would... Oh, okay. I see. I was trying to figure out why there's a giant paintbrush on the wall, but that's the witch's broom. I 
There's no characters. What's going on? This is just floating poppies. It's that same room, but they're finally there. I think this is the most hand-drawn page in the whole book. are definitely clip art. This is a tool, this wiggle tool you can get in Photoshop. The faces look like you that they might have been drawn. Um but you go again with the thick lines that they drew, thick lines that they drew with the little thin clip art. It, There's no consistency in this entire book. I don't get it, y'all. It looks like here, there's a wall of roses. This is what was behind those mean looking trees. And they're trying to get over this wall. What's behind the wall? It's just nothing. You would be able to see something across the wall. No characters again. I would not color this page. Would you color this? Just these little tiny clip art vines for nothing? Why? This is the top of the wall. This, that must be her farm again. What? How do we go from being on a farm to being back in the woods with all of these animals and a random spider <laughs> oh. now this looks like the scarecrow is on an asteroid and this thing shot something out of his face and struck the scarecrow Lord, or he's on a plane. What the hell? I don't know who that is, but his face looks like the face from um Alice in Wonderland, the um mean little king and queen. Now the crystals are shaped like a bug. And there's no detail in this house. There's nothing. Or a palace, whatever. Alright, Dorothy is clicking her heels again. She's back in Kansas, it looks like. But, well, again, there is a cloud in the sky, but there's nothing in the background. There's no bushes around her house. There's no grass around her house. Nothing. That's what the cover was. And then he's got a hand-drawn map with all the little clip art pieces stuck in there. That's it. All right, guys, I'm not trying to be ugly or mean. This is just not my thing personally. This is my opinion. People send these to me to get my opinion. And um, sometimes they're just not good. Sometimes they're awesome. I, it just depends. It's my opinion. Other people may look at this book and be like, oh my God, I love it. 
Um, I think the book is going for $12.50 right now on Amazon. I'll post a link down at the bottom if you want to check it out and purchase it. If you have any questions or comments, you can definitely leave them down at the bottom and I'll get back to you. Um, if you haven't hit that sub button, I would really appreciate it. And um, if you like the video, hit the like and the little bell up the next to it so you can get notifications when I'm on. I'm going to start streaming live soon. So, um, Thanks for everything, guys. Leave it down. Leave comments down at the bottom. Let me know how you like it if you think you would color it. Alright, bye-bye.